By the 1970s, all of Africa was free from colonial rule, except for a handful of states in southern Africa. Their history was different because of the dominance of white settlers. The last country to become free of white rule was South Africa, when Nelson Mandela became president in 1994. It had been a long struggle and Mandela paid a heavy personal price, locked up for 27 years in this prison cell on Robin Island, following a sham trial in the capital, Pretoria. This is the Palace of Justice, where the famous Rivonia trial took place in Pretoria in 1963 to 64. And at the end of that trial, Nelson Mandela and others were sentenced to life imprisonment. It wasn't until nearly 30 years later that he was released. And of course, as they say, the rest is history. To paraphrase the title of Mandela's autobiography, it has been a long walk to freedom for Africa. And colonialism has left an indelible mark on the continent. The colonial legacy still generates much debate today. Those who believe it was an unmitigated disaster and brought nothing but underdevelopment for Africa are perhaps overstating the case but nor was it an unqualified blessing for Africa. UNESCO's General History of Africa says the evidence shows that economic exploitation far outweighed economic development. And so on balance, it says that the colonial era is a period of growth without development, a period of lost opportunities and of humiliation for the peoples of Africa. Largely, uh, I would agree with the assessment that uh, uh, colonialism was more of a liability than an asset to post-colonial uh, uh, Africa. We survived the slavery and slave trade. We survived colonialism. We are surviving the post-colonial uh, tendencies that seem to subjugate us more uh, than support the development of uh, this continent. This is a history that gives a hope. It talks about the resilience of the African race. We have made it in the past, and the young people in the continent need to know that we have what it takes to survive future challenges and create a better Africa than it is today. <laughs>